Hi everyone. Welcome to MCRC's 2022 AGM. I'm Rebecca Barrows Vrankul, Executive Director at Milton Community Resource Center, better known as MCRC. As we gather today, I ask that you be mindful of the beautiful environment you are in and give thanks to the Indigenous people who were the original stewards and took great care of the land, water, and sky. Milton is rich in the history and modern traditions of the Indigenous people. MCRC sits upon the traditional territory of the Haudenosaunee, the Huron, and Wendat, and is more recently the treaty lands of the Mississaugas of the Credit First Nation. Let us thank and acknowledge them for sharing their traditional territory and be grateful for the opportunity to be living and working on this land. MCRC has made commitment to seek new relationships with the original peoples of this land, one based on honor and deep respect. May we all be guided by love and right action as we transform in our personal and institutional relationships with our Indigenous friends and neighbors. Thank you for having an interest in MCRC and for watching this video. We will be focusing on MCRC's reporting for the year 2021. Preparation for an annual report is a valuable experience to review the last year, take note of what we accomplished, how we accomplished it, and with what results. It is time for reflection, to learn, and to revisit our vision and mission, and to chart the next year of our strategic plan. The year 2021 is best described as being deep in the trenches of the pandemic, but seeing some light at the end of the tunnel. We started out the year with substantial help and support from the federal government, and with some help from other various levels of government. We ended the year knowing we had made it through, but the next few years would be all about recovery. The pandemic has made us acutely aware of children and families' need for sustainability, for stability, and for the very basic human right of equality. Too many were impacted or left behind by this pandemic, and MCRC will continue to recover, continue to meet our community needs, and continue to make a difference. At MCRC, we work hard every day to provide a variety of supports and services to families in Milton and the broader Halton community. The important work we do wouldn't be possible without some key partnerships. To our funders, your partnership is invaluable and with your support, we continue to research, innovate and deliver quality services to meet the unique needs of the Halton community. To our members, donors, and sponsors, the revenue you help us generate is essential for our programs and services and allows us to enhance our efforts for the best and ethical practices of our field. To our employees and volunteers, you are what make MCRC the organization that we are. Through your hard work and dedication, we hold ourselves to the best of practices and the highest of standards. And to our families, you and your children are why we are here. It is a privilege to serve you and to learn from you. You keep us on our toes. You remind us each and every day of what is most important in life. You remind us that all together, it is our responsibilities to provide a safe, caring community where children and families are valued, grow, and succeed. Hi everyone, I'm Tiffany Stewart and I am the chair of MCRC's Board of Directors. On Wednesday, December 14th, we held our AGM business meeting and I would like to present the 2023 slate of board directors. We are an extremely cohesive and long-standing board comprised of dedicated and experienced professionals who have a strong commitment to this organization. We are excited about our new members and how their talents and expertise will help us to continue to grow and develop 
as a resourceful and strategic governance board of directors. It is important for us to acknowledge that a very important board director will be leaving at the end of this year. Mike Cluett has been a board director for the past 12 years and has made a significant impact on our organization. We'd like to thank him for his contributions over all of these years, and even before that as a parent with our before and after school program. Mike Cluett and his family have been, and will always be, important members of our MCRC family. Thank you, Mike, and all the best. At this point, I would like to introduce Naresh Bansal, who is MCRC's treasurer. He will walk us through our most recently audited year, which ended December 31, 2021. In 2021, our revenue was $11,174,717. 30% of revenue was self-generated. 48% came from external funding and 2% came from government COVID-19 relief funds. Our total expenses were $10,806,839. Most of our expenses go to covering the wages, benefits, and associated costs of our 200 employees. At our business meeting, we appointed auditors for 2022, Glenn Graydon and Wright LLP. You can find our audited 2021 financials posted on our website. Despite the challenges of the pandemic, MCRC had many key accomplishments in 2021. You can learn about all of our key achievements in the digital AGM report on our website. In 2021, we continued our journey to acknowledge our responsibility to understand the truth about injustices that have been faced and continue to be faced by Indigenous communities. We continued our steps towards reconciliation by raising awareness and combating these injustices. From May 27, 2021 to January 1, 2022, MCRC used an orange version of our logo in recognition of the harm that was done by the residential school system to Indigenous children and their families. This 215-day time frame was chosen to honor the lives and spirits of children whose bodies were confirmed in unmarked graves at Kamloops Residential School in British Columbia. Since then, there have been hundreds of additional uncovered graves. As we transitioned back to our original logo, MCRC remains committed to listening and learning and to continue along our journey of reconciliation. MCRC believes all children are sacred and we hold strong the value of families, neighbors, and communities working together to ensure children are safe and thrive to their full potential. We are committed to ensure that every child matters. To support a safe, caring community where children and families are valued, grow and succeed, MCRC is committed to creating programs and services that celebrate diversity and value inclusion and equity. In 2021, we hired our first diversity, equity, and inclusion specialist. I'd like to introduce Bibi Mohammed, who will provide an overview of our journey in this regard. Thank you, Rebecca. As MCRC's first diversity, equity, and inclusion specialist, I was tasked with supporting the assessment and shift of our organizational practices. In order to make progress toward a more equitable work environment, we created a framework to impact our culture and to move the needle toward greater intentional action. We started by establishing a staff working group with representation from all levels of the organization. This group used the organizational self-assessment tool from the Halton Equity and Diversity Roundtable to evaluate MCRC's current climate as it relates to diversity, equity, and inclusion. Throughout the assessment, the working group identified specific steps that were necessary to enhance MCRC's progress. In response to the results of the organizational self-assessment tool, MCRC's diversity, equity, and inclusion framework was developed. 
The framework places emphasis on the internal strides to support our staff and our culture, and then to raise awareness of the need to be part of this important work within the broader community. MCRC has been committed to actively combating discrimination and injustice. While raising awareness of the need for action toward truth and reconciliation, against anti-Black racism, against Islamophobia and injustices faced by religious minorities, toward 2SLGBTQIA plus rights, towards rights for those living with disabilities, and against systemic oppression of marginalized individuals. We know that we have an immense responsibility to have an active role in creating greater inclusion for our diverse population and safe spaces for all. Although this AGM reflects the year 2021, we are bringing this to you now in 2022. At the end of this year, I will be leaving my position as ED of this amazing organization. I have had a rewarding career in ELCC spanning 37 years, and I can easily say the highlight has been the last 15 years at MCRC. I have been surrounded by the most dedicated and talented staff who have supported me in my role of leadership. I truly believe that a leader can only be as strong and visionary as the rest of the team. Without their dedication, commitment, and exceptional skills, MCRC would not be what it is today. I'm excited for the future of MCRC. We have laid a strong foundation for which this organization can grow and flourish. We have worked hard to create a culture where everyone belongs and feels valued. We are well into our journey of diversity, equity, and inclusion, and all levels of the organization will continue to learn, develop, and grow in this very important organizational commitment. As I come to the end of my leg of the race, I will be passing the baton to the brilliant and talented Becky Andrade. She will become the new ED for MCRC, and I couldn't be more happy and confident for this succession. She, along with staff and all of you, will continue to provide a strong and responsive organization, and I expect will take MCRC to new heights of success and innovation. Thank you all. It truly has been a privilege. Hi, everyone. I'm Becky Andrad, and I'm incredibly honored to become MCRC's next executive director. I've been with MCRC for 12 years and have been inspired by the talent, passion, and dedication of our entire team and the incredible programs and services that MCRC offers. The key achievements that have been shared today demonstrate MCRC's ongoing commitment to making our community a safe, inclusive, and equitable place where all individuals are supported and feel a sense of belonging. I'm looking forward to supporting the organization in new ways, and I'm excited for what the future holds for MCRC, our staff, and the children and families we serve. Thank you for joining us for our AGM. On behalf of the Board of Directors, all staff and volunteers of our organization, we hope that you feel welcomed and supported as parents and partners of our organization. We encourage your questions, ideas, and feedback so please feel free to reach out to us at any time, either directly to each program or department, or by email at feedback at mcrc.on.ca. Your input and involvement is important to us and makes us the organization we are. Thank you, everyone. Please be well and stay safe.